Okay, so it's 6.02, and since it's only one hour, I guess we can start and people will join, you know, as we go on. Okay, that would be great. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, welcome, everyone, and thank you, Kavi, uh, for having me here uh, this evening. Um, to everyone, my name is Marlene Zakabe. I am the Business and Careers Services Librarian uh, with the Ottawa Public Library. Um, I'm currently working out of the Nepean Centre Point branch. Um, currently, the library has been going through a lot of changes over the last year. And uh, I'm just here tonight to talk about all the services and resources that we have available to you. Um, because of the current stay at home order right now, um, our services have been cut back a great deal. Um, at this time, we're only offering curbside pickup and returns. So no one is allowed in our branches. Um, you can only come and pick up holds that you may have placed or to return your items. So that's the current situation right now. Uh, but we've been through many different forms of service over the last year. So it does keep changing uh, depending on provincial regulations. But despite that, despite the fact that we are um, at this time uh, very limited with our services, we do still provide a lot of online resources through our website. And a lot of what I'm going to show you today are all the, the, the vast number of uh, services and resources that we have available to you online through our website. Um, so basically, what uh, does the Ottawa Public Library have to offer? We um, have a collection of things that we loan out. So we loan out books, DVDs, ebooks, audiobooks, streaming videos, magazines, newspapers, music games, uh, musical instruments. So you can see we have a, a vast array of different uh, types of resources that we loan out. Um, some of these resources are physical like books and DVDs, uh, magazines, newspapers, but we also have digital resources as well. So you can borrow eBooks and downloadable audiobooks. We have streaming videos available through our website. Um, so there's a lot of digital material that we have on offer as well. And what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you our website. We'll go into our website and uh, I'll, I'll show you how you can access um, all of these resources uh, through the library's website. Um, the website also has um, help for for individuals who um, are looking for jobs. So we have a, a page for jobs and careers with resources that can help you in your search for a job. Um, we also have a business uh, page on our website. So if you're a small business owner or if you're interested in starting a business, we have quite a few resources on our website that can help you um, on that journey to start a, a new business. We also have a, a newcomer page on our website with um, services that we provide for newcomers as well. So I'm going to show you all those different pages that we have on our website. Um, as I mentioned uh, a moment ago, we have a vast array of digital resources. And our digital resources are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can access them at any time. Uh, when the library is open uh, for regular services, we also provide computers. Uh, so if you need a computer, if you need to print, if you need access to a scanner, uh, we have uh, free computers for you to use. Uh, right now, do, during our stay-at-home order, unfortunately, we're not open with computer use at this time. But uh, when we do reopen at some point in the future, uh, you can come in and use a, um, a computer. We also provide free Wi-Fi at all of our library branches. Uh, unfortunately, that has been restricted in the last year. Um, the reason is our services have been curtailed. Um, although we have allowed uh, people in for browsing and for computer use, uh, we no longer have any tables or chairs for sitting 
and studying or reading a magazine or newspaper. But hopefully, uh, pandemic will be over soon and we can open to pre uh, open uh, the library back to the way it was before. Um, and we can have our seating back and there's free Wi-Fi uh, available. Um, other things we offer are things like free workshops and events. And of course, before the pandemic hit, uh, they would be in-person workshops and events that we would run on all kinds of different topics. Uh, but now um, with the pandemic, all of our programming is now virtual. But we offer lots of really interesting programs and events through uh, virtually through Zoom or Facebook Live. And uh, I'll show you how to find those on our website. So how do you gain access to all of these great resources that the Ottawa Public Library has? Well, you need a library card. Um, and to get a library card, uh, you have to be a resident of the city of Ottawa um, or you have to own a business. So essentially, is if you pay taxes in the city of Ottawa, you are able to get a free library card. Uh, you can also get a library card if you live outside of Ottawa. There is a fee for that. I believe it's $80 a year for a family. I don't, yeah, don't quote me on that number. It's something like that. Um, so you can pay for a library membership if you live outside the city of Ottawa borders. Um, but if you live in the city of Ottawa, pay taxes to the city of Ottawa, you can get a free library card. Um, you would need to show proof of address um, and have photo ID to get a library card. So you would come into our branch with some photo ID um, and proof of address. Usually if you have a driver's license that has both uh, on there and that would be perfect. Or if you have the purple uh, Ontario identity card that works as well. Uh, if you don't, that's fine. Uh, anything that, ha any ID that you have that has your picture like your passport, for example, will work. Um, and then in that case, you would need to provide proof of address so something like a lease or a utility bill or any sort of piece of mail that you get at home that would have your name and address on it. Now, because uh, the library is currently um, uh, closed, uh, other than holds pickup and returns, um, we are not issuing library cards at this time. At our branches, but you can get a temporary library card through uh, our website. And um, this is, I just have a screenshot here of what our website looks like, but I thought it would be really useful just to take you right to the website and to show you everything that we have right on our website. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, just click on my link here to our website. And I'm just going to just give me a moment because I'll have to share that screen. Okay, uh, Kavi, can you let me know is the um, library's website uh, showing now? Yes, we can see that. Okay, wonderful. And I forgot to mention at the beginning, if anyone has any questions while I'm presenting, please feel free to put your question in the chat. And uh, Kavi will stop me occasionally and, um, and I can answer your questions at that time or I can answer them at the end, whatever is easier for you. Okay, so... Um, this is the Ottawa Public Library's website right here. Um, so that, this is our homepage. And we were just talking about, um, we were talking about how to get a temporary library card. Uh, so you can see on the top right hand corner up here, we have uh, a link to get a card. So you would just click on that link. And it brings up the page here about getting a library card. So you would just have to fill out the form that we have, submit it, and you will get a temporary library card number. Now that temporary card doesn't give you full access to our online resources, unfortunately. You need to get a full library card, but because we're not open to giving you a library card at this time, 
Uh, what you can do is phone the library's uh, information line. If you, you can find our phone number under the contact us link, um, just up at the top here. And uh, just call our number 580-2940 and they can um, set up your card so that you have access to all of the online resources that are on our website. Um, and then once the library reopens, they'll give you temporary full access. Uh, but once the library uh, fully reopens again, you'll be able to come in and convert your temporary card to a permanent library card. So that's how you get a library card. I'm going to go back to our homepage right now. So um, <clears throat> this is our homepage. Uh, we always have like updates on our um, on our web page telling you, you know, what services we're providing uh, just because it's been changing so frequently. Um, uh, so you can always find out whether we're opened or what kind of services are happening just through our, our um, the front page of our, uh, the home page of our website. Uh, there's lots of things to explore on our website and I'm just going to show you like some of the main things um, that we have. Uh, one of the first things is you may be wondering how can you search for an item? So how can you search for a book or a DVD um, or music? Um, so to search for material um, in our catalog, you, we have uh, the search bar just up at the top of our screen here. Um, so I'll just do a search just to show you how it works. Um, if, for example, you were uh, needed help in your job hunting um, and you'd like some books on resume writing or interviews or what's best ways to do um, a job search, we could search for material on job hunting. So I'll use that as an example, um, job hunting. And then I'll search that. So this will be searching our catalogs. So this will search all of our materials. Um, so these are my results here. So what you'll see is <clears throat> we've got quite a few items that are listed. So for example, the first one that pops up is the big book of job hunting hacks. You'll see under the title here that it's actually a book and the publication date. And under that is the call number of the item. Uh, you'll have to pay attention to the format of the item because it's not only books that show up here, but all kinds of things. So I'll see if I have other examples. This is also a book, that's a book. Let me scroll down a bit. Um, so, for example, here, this one here, get your G, um, get your dream job. This is an audiobook CD. Um, so that's how you know what the format is. Here's another example of something. There's no such thing as an easy job. So this is another book. But you'll see that we have it in a book format, but we also have it in an ebook format. And an ebook format will allow you to download this book. Um, onto any device that you may have, like a tablet, a computer, you can download it to your phone. So that's what an ebook is. Um, so sometimes we have both formats. We'll have it as a physical book that you can borrow, or we have it as an ebook. Sometimes we would have it as an audio book as well. You'll see that as well sometimes. Um, I'm going to go back up to the top of this page. You can also filter your results because sometimes you get a lot of results. So you'll see we have 271 results here. Um, you can filter your results using the filters that we have on the left hand side of the screen. So you can filter by um, if you only want to see the books, you can filter by that. Or if you only want to see ebooks, you can use that filter. You're interested in streaming videos, you could use that filter. Why don't I click on that? I'll filter by streaming video. And now you can see all the streaming videos that we have on job hunting. And then if you wanted to watch one of these videos, it's very simple. You just click where it says click here to access this resource. You click on that and it will take you right into um, the video to play the video. Um, so it takes you to a service that we have called Access Video On Demand, and there's the video. So that's how that works. I'll just go back to my website here. So that's how you would filter. Um, I'm going to go back 
I'm going to remove that filter and just go back to all of my items. Um, so let's say you find a book you're interested in, like this one here, the big book of job hunting hacks. You want to find out what branch has this book. That you would find it under the available here. So available view details. If I click on that, I can actually see which branches have copies of this particular book. So this is located at four different branches. Um, you could go directly to the branch if we were open. Uh, you could go directly to the branch to pick up that book, or you could place the book on hold. Uh, so if that book wasn't available at a branch that's close to you and you want it shipped to your uh, branch that's closest to you, you could just click here on place a hold. When you click on place a hold, you'd be required to um, log in using your library card number. So I'll put my card number in there. And my PIN number. And submit. Now I'm logged in. Um, my pickup location for this book is in the Nippian Center Point branch, but you can change that pickup location to whichever branch is most convenient for you. Um, and then I would click place a hold. Once I've placed a hold, um, the library will then contact you when the book is available for you to come in and pick it up. So this service is still available to you during our stay at home order. You can place holds on anything and uh, come in and pick it up at any at one of the branches that's most convenient for you. Um, so that's how basically how you do a search. Let's just go back to our home page right now. And I'm going to show you how you would find our location. So um, if you don't know what your closest library branch is, you can click here on uh, hours and locations. And if you click on find a branch and scroll down, um, all of our branches are listed here. They're listed alphabetically by the name of the branch. So there's a map. Um, all of the branch hours are listed here as well. Uh, you could also just enter your address so uh, to find your nearest branch. So I'll put in my address here, at 101 Center Point Drive, and then find the nearest location. And it shows me in the map which are the four closest locations, my address. And that's how you find out your closest library branches to you. We um, have 33 branches in the Ottawa Public Library system. So there's, uh, we're spread uh, across the entire city and some rural lo locations as well. Uh, currently only 31 out of the 33 branches are open. Uh, there's only two branches that are closed and they are um, Fitzroy Harbor, I believe. And I can't remember the other one, but they're smaller uh, rural branches that are currently still closed. But all of our branches are, uh, other branches are open. So that's how you find our locations. So now what I'm going to do, I'll just go back to the home page. And um, I had mentioned uh, earlier that we run all kinds of programs and events at the Ottawa Public Library. And to find those through our website, you would just click here on our programs and events tab and then click on find a program or event. And I'll show you um, all the different types of programs that we're running. So as I said, right now, the programs we're running are virtual. Um, so you'll see a whole list of them here. You can uh, filter by audience. So let's say you're looking for um, uh, programs for your children. So you'll see that we run programs uh, for families. Uh, a child usually we'll define as ages six and up. Um, we have programs for teens. 
Uh, we have uh, preschooler age, toddler age, baby age. So programs for all age groups um, uh, that we run. So you can filter by that. You can also filter by the subject area you're interested in. So you can see all uh, the different types of programs. We've got gardening programs, hobbies and crafts, uh, computers and technology, parenting, um, lots to choose from. Uh, you'll see the program. So let's say I'll filter by adult programs. So let's see what we have for adults. And then um, I can either go through the list of programs on the right here. So we've got a pet program, mindfulness for parents is another one, a genealogy program, um, a technology program on troubleshooting uh, technology programs. So you can see there's a wide array of, array of topics that we run programs on. Our programs do require registration because they are virtual. Um, so in order to register for a program, you just click on it. You'll get uh, more information on what the program is about, so the description, and then um, where you can, usually our registration, if you click on the registration button, it's usually a, an event, right, registration that you'll have to do. And you'll get an email with the link to attend the program. Uh, we're probably planning in the future once, um, things get back, more back to normal in the future and we reopen, we will start to run in-person programs again. And uh, the thought is that we will probably in the future be running uh, a mix of both virtual and in-person programs. So I think that's going to be really nice uh, uh, to have that option of, of having either virtual or uh, in-person programs. So that's uh, our programming. I'm going to go back to our home page. Uh, are there any questions so far, Kevi? No, there's nothing in the chat. Okay, perfect. So I'll continue on. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is um, how to find all the different online resources that we have through our website. Uh, you could do that just by, you know, scrolling through our homepage and you get links to all kinds of things that you can explore. Um, but another way you could do it is just through our browse tab up here at the top of the page. So I'm going to click on that and that opens up a menu here. And we'll look at, um, so if you look at browse by format here, there's all kinds of, we collect things in all formats books, video, music, newspapers and magazines, musical instruments, um, our online resources, I'll talk about a little bit more shortly, um, gaming, and then we have a list of library apps that you can download as well. Um, so let's say if you were interested in looking at magazines and newspapers, you could click on this uh, link for the magazines and newspapers. Try that again. And so it brings me to the page that lists all the different services that we have for magazines. So we've got downloadable magazines. So not only physical magazines that you could come into the library and borrow, but also magazines you can download to uh, your phone or your tablet or your computer at home. Um, Eureka is for French magazine articles, but we've got other services like Flipster, which gives you access to magazines such as Hello Canada, McLean, Scientific American, Time, People. Um, another service that provides us um, downloadable magazines is something called Overdrive magazines. With magazines such as The Economist, Canadian, Canadian Living, National Geographic, The New Yorker. Press Reader is another really interesting one. This one is, provides you with newspapers around the world. Um, hundreds of newspapers in different languages from all around the world, um, as well as some magazines, but I will say that it's mostly newspapers. So these are newspaper, daily newspapers that you can download to whatever device you have at home that you use. So it's a great resource. Um, 
other services that search newspaper articles, um, historical access to the Globe and Mail all the way back to 1844. Um, if you like reading the New York Times, we also give you access to the New York Times as well. Um, the Ottawa Citizen, and uh, this is just another link to the press reader. Um, and then our print newspapers. So if you want to come into the library and read newspapers, but unfortunately over the last year, we don't have access um, to newspapers in our branches anymore, uh, just because of the, the pandemic. So that's uh, magazines and newspapers. Um, let me go back to the browse link up here. Um, Musical instruments is another thing that we loan out. So a lot of you may not be aware that we loan out musical instruments that you can try out. Um, we loan them out for three weeks at a time. And by the way, most of our items we loan out for three weeks um, with the possibility of renewing them for longer as well. Uh, but musical instruments are here. Um, only four of our branches though uh, provide musical instruments, and that's the main branch downtown, uh, Nepean Center Point branch, Cumberland, and the Greenboro branch. So those are the four branches where uh, we have musical instruments. And we have all kinds of instruments like guitars, uh, ukuleles, violins, keyboards, um, different um, hand drums. Um, so you can browse the list of all the different types of musical instruments that we have. In most cases, you will probably have to put a hold on the musical instruments uh, just because they are so popular and they're usually always checked out. But you can certainly place a hold on them and then uh, select the branch that you're interested in uh, picking it up at. So it would have to be one of these four branches. So that's our musical instruments. I'll just go back to my browse tab. Uh, other things, games. Uh, we also loan out games such as games for the PlayStation, the Xbox, uh, the Wii. And now we've also just started a collection of a Nintendo Switch games as well, which aren't listed here yet. But you can do a search for them in our, in our uh, catalog. They just haven't put them on this page yet. But they're, they're brand new. They just came in. Um, I think about two weeks ago. So very, very new. Um, back to the browse. Um, we also have uh, video, so streaming videos. Um, DVDs that you can borrow at our branch. If you clicked on this link, you can browse all the DVDs that we have to borrow. But like I said, we also have streaming videos. So videos that you can watch right from your computer. And we have a couple of different services that provide streaming videos. Um, such as the Access Video On Demand, <coughs> excuse me, which I showed you earlier when we were looking at the job hunting, we saw that Access Video On Demand. Artist Works is um, videos um, related to in, uh, musical instrument instruction. So let's say you borrowed a viol violin from the library and you want to learn how to use it, you can watch um, one of these videos that we have that teaches you how to use, um, how to play various musical instruments. Um, and various other video streaming services, curio.ca is um, uh, the CBC and Radio Canada. Hoopla has all kinds of movies that you can download. Uh, we have things for children. Canopy is another service that provides access to um, movies. Uh, as well as Naxos video library. So these are things you, you can explore on your own time, but I just want you to be aware that they're there um, for you to have a look at. Um, going back to the browse here, uh, music is another format that we carry. So you can, we have actual music CDs that you can borrow, but you can also stream music from our website. So again, that link to the artist works um, Hoopla's got music, uh, maybe GTV, we've got a Minaxos music library, one specifically for jazz, and so on. There's lots to explore here uh, for music. And then back to the browse here. Um, what have we not looked at? Books, we'll um, look at that now. 
So you can explore our book collection. That just takes you to our physical book collection to um, browse that. We have books on CD, so actual CD discs that you can borrow and play on a CD player at home. Um, ebooks, we have several ebook services, uh, some in French, like the Cantu Station provides uh, access to French language ebooks. Um, the Cloud Library is another ebook service that we subscribe to that gives you access to ebooks and audiobooks. Um, Overdrive is probably our biggest ebook. Um, it is our biggest ebook provider um, uh, in, in the English language. Um, so you would use that probably for most of your, um, for most of the books that you download from our site is usually going to be coming from Overdrive. And then we have different services for children and for teens. Um, if you've got children or teens that you can explore. Um, and then services for audiobooks as well. Um, you can download audiobook to your phone and listen to it or, or your computer. A um, lot of things you can do right through our website without even ever having to come into the library. So it's, it's great. You can do that while you're sitting at home um, without having to leave your house. So let's go back to the browse. Um, so the next thing I want to show you in our browse by format is our online resources. So I'm going to click on that link. And here are our online resources. Now you can, uh, we've got a couple of different tabs here you could look at. The read, which will give you access to ebooks, the digital newspapers, digital and the magazine. It's really going to lead you back to the same place as I was showing you just earlier, but it's just another place to look for it. Um, the streaming videos, uh, the audio, the music, learning, so learning something new um, through our online resources. I'll show that to you as well. You can explore it by subject as well as another way. So if you're looking for something business related or jobs and careers, um, you can go straight to there or newcomers, you can do that, politics. Uh, so you can explore by subject. Or you can just look through our alphabetical list of online resources. So just down below here is all of our online resources listed alphabetically from A to Z. Um, so you can explore and see what we have. Uh, access video on command is that um, streaming video service I talked about. Um, active reading is no longer working. Sometimes we have little notes on them saying that they're no longer available. Um, so you'll have to read the little notes to see. Ancestry library for people who are researching their genealogy. There's that artist works where you can watch those videos on um, musical instruments, um, a service on food, um, and, you know, Britannica, the encyclopedia, uh, version for kids. There's tons of stuff. I, I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, there's a description of everything here. But just to give you some idea, these are magazine articles. So if, you need, if you're researching, you're a student, you need to research a particular topic, um, something like the Canadian Reference Center would, would search magazine articles for you. Um, consumer reports. So let's say you're buying a product and um, you want to find out what the best uh, refrigerator on the market is. Consumer reports um, can give you that type of information. So we have access to consumer reports. Um, Creative Bug is for any of you crafters out there. It, there's videos on how to paint and sew and cook and <laughs> a variety of things, knit. Um, there's so much here. Like I can, you can see as I scroll through so many different things, things for children uh, as well. Um, this is our magazine, Flipster. One that I'd like to point out, I'm just going to scroll down to it, is LinkedIn Learning once I get to it in a moment. Um, 
there's LinkedIn Learning. It's a great resource. Uh, it provides video courses on uh, a wide variety of topics. So if you'd like to upgrade your skills, if you're looking for a job and you need to upgrade your skills or you need to learn a particular software package, um, business skills, there's all kinds of videos on all kinds of topics um, in LinkedIn Learning. It's a great resource provided to you absolutely for free um, with a library card. Um, uh, so I just wanted to have you aware of that one, but there's so much here. Um, and Mango languages. So if you want to learn a language, um, uh, whatever language, I think there's something like, um, it says here there's 40 different languages you can learn with Mango languages. Uh, we also have another one on languages as well. I think it's, I can't remember the, what it's called, but I will see it once I get down there. I think it starts with the letter P. <laughs> Pronunciator, that's it. So this is another one for language learning with ESL courses, um, as well as uh, 144 other languages um, that you can learn. It will give you lessons in that. Uh, audio and um, I think it's all audio, not video. That one is audio. Anyways, so much stuff to explore. Um, you want to sit down one day and just have a look at all the different resources, online resources we have to offer. So that's our uh, online resources. I'm going to go back to the browse tab here. So we've looked under browse by format, but now I'd also like to show you our browse by subject area. And uh, there's a couple of different, uh, there's different subjects that we have here. Um, so we have a website page on business. So if you're an entrepreneur uh, or looking to start uh, a small business, I'll just click on business there. We have some help available through our website. Um, so right here, this is our, our business uh, page that lists um, uh, basically giving you uh, links to other websites that can help you start a business through your market research. So we have a guide to market research that you can explore. Uh, we have a guide to starting a small business in Ontario. We have a directory of business services in Ottawa. So that's just a directory that lists um, all the community organizations in Ottawa that can help you start a business. Uh, we also have a link here to explore a list of books and websites on various business topics. Um, so lots here for you to explore. We've also put together for you some online resources related to business. Um, so Gale eBooks, so if you, uh, Gale eBooks gives you access to something called the Business Plans Handbook. If you need to write a business plan for your new business, um, you can get examples of business plans from the Business Plans Handbook that's available through Gale eBooks. Uh, you can search for articles in Gale One File Business, um, Gale One File Entrepreneurship as well. Uh, if you're a nonprofit organization looking for funding, uh, for your nonprofit, you could use Grant Connect to find funders uh, for your nonprofit. Uh, link, here's a link to LinkedIn Learning again for those video courses, because as I mentioned, they do have business courses as well that you can watch. Um, Reference Canada is a business directory, uh, lists 2.1 Canadian million Canadian companies. So if you're searching for um, customers or competitors for your small business, uh, Reference Canada would be a great place to start your research to find out um, uh, information on various companies uh, all across Canada. And Value Line is for anyone who's interested in investments. Um, they have all kinds of, uh, there's all kinds of investment advice for uh, personal finance in uh, Value Line. So that's uh, our business page. Um, I'm going to go back to the browse here. 
and we'll look at jobs and careers. So if you're someone who's looking for a job, um, we have a jobs and careers page. Um, on this page, we have online job boards on the right hand side here. We'll just click on that. And so what we've done is we've put together a list of um, job boards. Um, Worksica is one of them, uh, the Service Canada Job Bank, Magnet, various search engines you're probably familiar with, like Indeed, Workopolis, Monster, and then special, uh, specialized uh, job boards as well, job boards um, in different areas like high tech, public service, freelance, um, accounting, banking, finance. So all kinds of job boards you can tap into. We just list them here for you. Um, also, I'll just go back one screen. I'll go back to the jobs and careers page. Uh, we also have a job searching guide here that gives you links to websites that can help you out uh, on your career planning and job searching um, and proactive job searching. So things like job search tips, resume, cover letter help, interviewing skills, upgrading skills. So if you clicked on that link, you just get um, links to other uh, websites that can help you in those areas. Um, we also have from our job page, um, a list of books and websites. So explore books and websites on topics related to job searching and careers. You can click on that. I'll just click on it to show it to you. Um, and then just different topics. So newcomers to Canada, finding a job uh, or job interviews or resumes and cover letters. You can click on one of the links and it will just give you some recommendations of books that are available at the library or websites that could be helpful um, on that particular topic. So let's go back and I'll get out of this page. Um, and then um, still on the jobs and careers page, just on the bottom, just online resources related to jobs and careers. So like the Learning Express Library is one online resource. So if you have to do a practice test uh, for a particular career, um, they have all kinds of practice tests um, in the Learning Express Library. Uh, they also have um, information also on job searching skills as well in the Learning Express Library. So it's a good one to check out. Again, Reference Canada, the list of the 2.1 million companies across Canada. So when you're searching for a job and you're looking for a list of companies to apply to, Reference Canada could be helpful for that. Uh, Worksica is just an online job board, a big online job board. It's actually really interesting. Um, job board, I encourage you to explore it if you're looking for work or planning, career planning. Um, it's a really interesting one to look at. So that's our jobs and careers page. Let me just head back to the browse again. And then let's look at their newcomers page. So our newcomers page, um, has some interesting things on it. Uh, so in the explore further section here, we've got access material in your language. So I'll just click on that. We, uh, at the Ottawa Public Library, we collect uh, material in um, a variety of different languages. You certainly don't collect in every language um, uh, available, but uh, we collect in certain languages that are the largest languages that are represented in the city of Ottawa. So Arabic, Chinese, Farsi, Hindi, Punjabi, Russian, Somali, Spanish, Urdu, and Vietnamese. Those are the languages we collect. We collect books, DVDs, music CDs, um, and in some cases there's magazines and newspapers as well. Um, not all the branches have all the languages so it depends, like um, Russian will only be at certain branches, as will Arabic or Farsi or whatever language it is. It's only at a certain number of branches, but you can explore the links. So um, 
for example, the Farsi, I'll click on the books, and then I'll get a list of uh, books in Farsi. And then I can use, as I showed you earlier, when you're searching the catalog, you can use the filters on the left-hand side to help you search to reduce, because there's 929 results. Um, if you want to know what branches have a particular book, you can just click on the view details and you will get the list of branches. So it looks like this one is at the Emerald Plaza branch as an example. So that's how you search for books in other languages. I'll just skip back. Um, our newcomers page also has citizenship information. So if you're preparing for the citizenship test, uh, we have all kinds of resources on the website here. So we've got practice tests, um, material to help you prepare for your citizenship test, um, and then some information that's uh, usually found typically on the citizenship test. I'll just go back one. Um, we also have a link here to improve your language skills. Say you needed to improve your French or English language skills. We have links here to books, DVDs, CDs um, that can help you learn English or French. Um, Ebooks that can help you learn English or French. Audiobooks for the same for learning English. Um, programs. Um, we used to, before the pandemic, run uh, English and French conversation groups to help you practice your. English and French um, conversation skills. Unfortunately, because we've uh, uh, stopped all our in-person programming for the last year, uh, those are no longer running, but I am sure once we get back to normal, those will come back. And any databases, so those are those online resources I've been showing you, like, um, uh, to, like Mango Languages and the Pronunciator that help you to learn language skills. So that's what's on that page. Um, we also have a list of community partners, um, and that would be just organizations in Ottawa that help newcomers are listed on that page. And we have a variety uh, of languages here. Um, it's just uh, a page in, in those languages talking about, um, about the library services um, in various languages. So that's what's on our page. Um, so that's basically covering what's in our browse and um, what we have um, through our website, the online services and resources that we have on our website. Um, one thing I did not show you yet was um, your account information. So um, I logged into my account here. You can see my name is uh, it's up here um, because earlier when I was showing you how to place a hold on a book, um, I logged in. I had put in my card number and I got logged in. So I'm currently logged in. So when you're looking for your account information, it's all here. Um, so you can always look at your checked out items here. So if I clicked on checked out, I could see, oh, it's not working. <laughs> Let me try that again. Sometimes uh, you will get that message. I'm gonna try that one more time. And I should get a list of everything I have checked out. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. You know, I've got uh, two magazines checked out. So those are digital magazines that I, I have checked out on my account. Um, it tells me when my, my item is due. Uh, I've got a downloadable audiobook checked out, and I've got a couple of books checked out. You can see what date your books are due back. I'll say the due dates. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, books check out for three weeks. And um, as long as no one's placed a hold on a book, you can renew it. And you can renew your material up to five times as long as no one has uh, put a request or a hold on that material. Um, if there's a hold on it, then you're unable to renew it. Uh, we have, starting this past January, we have a, a brand new system where uh, books will automatically renew 
Um, so for example, this book I have checked out is due on May 17th. On May 17th, if there are no holds on this book, it will automatically renew for another three weeks. If there are holds, it will not renew and you will have to return the book. Um, another thing that we started in January is we are no longer charging overdue fees for any of our books. So you will no longer be charged overdues. So if your book gets overdue, um, that's fine. Um, we do encourage you to return them. Uh, but what will happen is if your book is uh, 21 days overdue, when it hits 21 days, after on your 22nd day, uh, we assume the book is lost. So if you haven't returned it after it's been overdue for 21 days, it'll be um, put in a lost status. And what will happen is you will have a replacement charge for the book on your account. So if the book cost us $25, $25 will go on your account. As long as you return the book, that replacement charge will be removed from your account. The reason we put it there is just to encourage you to bring your books back. <clears throat> but you will never be charged an overdue fee or any fees if you return your books. So that is a new system that we have in place now. Um, to We're trying to make things uh, more fair, um, and encourage people um, to use the library, uh, but also to return their materials as well. Um, and many libraries are going to this new system uh, of removing all over to fees. Uh, one fee that we still have in place though that we have not removed is a uh, holds not picked up. So let's say you place a, a book on hold and you don't pick it up. If you do not pick up your hold and it expires, um, you will be charged a dollar for uh, a hold not picked up. So for every book that you don't pick up that you've placed on hold, you will be charged a dollar. Um, you can uh, avoid that fee by either one picking up your hold or if you no longer want the book or you don't think you're gonna be able to make it into the library to pick it up, you can cancel your hold. And it's easy to cancel holds from your account. So uh, again, I'll show you back in my account, we were just looking at my checked out items, but I'll show you uh, items on hold. When you go into your holds, you'll see that um, these are books that I have placed on hold. I've got 56 items currently on hold, but if I no longer want something, I can always cancel the hold. I just, it's very easy. You just click cancel hold and that hold will be canceled and you won't be charged the uh, uh, one dollar not picked up um, fee. Um, so all your account information, as I said, is here. Your checked out items, your on hold items, your borrowing history. We'll show you the books that you most recently borrowed. If you ever forget um, a particular title, you can always go back and look it up. Um, you can pay your fees online. If you've got any fees, um, you can um, do that as well. Um, and um, anything to do with your account, you can usually um, do over here um, through your account information. Uh, and if you ever have any questions or you're um, not sure if something you can always contact the library we have a contact us button here at the top you just click on contact us you can contact us by phone uh, we also have a new chat service you can uh, do a chat or you can email us um, these are the hours of operation for for the help online um, another thing you can do as well is you can um, book one-on-one -on -one help as well under the make a booking tab here. Uh, you can book a library one-on-one. -on -one. Currently the one-on-ones are done on um, over the phone uh, because we're not meeting in person at this time. But uh, we do things like computer tutorials, um, ebook tutorials. So let's say you wanna download a 
book from our one of the services that we provide and you're not sure how to do it, um, we can do a one-on-one -on -one tutorial with you uh, for downloading. Uh, BiblioCommons tutorial would be to learn how to use the catalog. Um, if you're looking for recommendations of books, we can do that as well. We can get help with your research. Um, so for example, if you're starting a business and you need some help, I am a business librarian. We have a couple of business librarians with the Ottawa Public Library. Um, you can um, get in touch with us and we can give you some help with market research, point out some resources that could be helpful to you. Um, so lots of things we, we provide help with. So be sure to contact us should you need any help. Um, and that uh, really brings me to the end of the presentation. And I'm just, uh, I'm wondering if anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them at this time. Are there any questions, Kevin? Yeah, actually there are three questions in the chat okay. section and one person has uh, her hands up or his. Uh, so the first question is, uh, are there telescopes to borrow? Yes, we do have telescopes um, and the telescopes, um, can be found, let me see if I can find them now. Um, I can just do a search for telescopes. So I'm getting, so I'll just look at my filters here. So yeah, you see different filters. It's probably the device. So I'm gonna click on the device filter and there they are. So these are the telescopes that we have on offer. Um, you can see there's holes on them. <laughs> so this particular telescope's got 193 holes. This one's got 99 holes. So they are very popular. So you could put yourself in the waiting list uh, for any of these uh, telescopes. Perfect. So, yeah, there's another question. Uh, I think you covered that in uh, in the LinkedIn learning section. Uh, Mary asked, what are free courses available for us? Yeah, so the LinkedIn learning is um, the best place to look. And just as a reminder, that was found uh, if you go to browse and under browse, if you just head down to online resources, once you get to the online resources, if you just uh, scroll down um, the alphabetical, this is our alphabetical list of online resources, just scroll down to LinkedIn Learning. Um, and you'll need to log into, I forgot to mention, but for any of these online resources, you have to log into your account uh, to gain access. So LinkedIn Learning is down here somewhere. We have so many. There is LinkedIn Learning. You click on the link to LinkedIn Learning, and then you can get started. And then again, you'd have to put your library card number in, your PIN. Um, the very first time you logged in, they'll, they'll just have you create an account. And then you can use LinkedIn Learning, all kinds of courses available. That's the best one uh, for courses that we have available. So perfect. So there's another question. Uh, a question. Do you have any resources for IELTS exam? Yes, we do. And again, it's in the same place, this online resource section that I'm in now. You just scroll down. Uh, no, scroll up. I think it's under IELTS. No, it's not. Uh, what is it under? I have to remember what it's under. I'm just going to go back up to the top. Um, it's probably under research and reference. I'm gonna try that. And let's see if I can find it. No, I know where it is located. If you go to the browse and you go into jobs and careers, I think it's there. No, it's not. I'm gonna go back to browse and back to the online resources. 
sometimes it takes a little digging. Once I know the name of it, you can write it down and then <laughs> you'll be able to find it. I just off the top of my head can't remember the name of it. Um, if I go here to jobs and careers, I think this is where I'll find it. No, it's not there. It's been removed from there. Oh, you know, I think it's called Road to IELTS. Okay, let me go down to the R. Search all. Yeah, Road. There it is. Road to IELTS. We have two of them. Uh, the academic module and the general training module. So those are two online resources that you can use for uh, practice for the IELTS. You can also search in our search box uh, for books on the IELTS and you'll get all kinds of book resources for uh, uh, writing the IELTS practice, practice tests and whatnot. There, so there's a, um, 93 results um, that we have of books, um, ebooks that you can explore for IELTS. Okay. Great. And Harleen, you have your hand up. Uh, you can open your mic and ask your question. Hello. Thanks for a good insight to our library. Uh, actually, I have your web, uh, your app downloaded on my cell phone. And today I wanted to cancel one of my hold and a pickup. Uh, okay. To my surprise that uh, Apple user could do it, but an Android user was not having that facility on the app. Um, can you let me? Yeah, I, I, I'm actually surprised to hear that. You should be able to do that on both Android and Apple. I'm familiar with the um, telephone app. So what I should, would suggest that you do is phone um, our, our, our helpline. Um, so just uh, again from the home page, if you just go to the contact us section, um, just give us a call um, or um, you can do a chat. So there's the contact us button at the top or email and somebody can help you with that. Okay, this brings me to a question. In case I had hold any book, right? And uh, uh, what happens is we have people are holding the book for a long time and it skips from our mind that we have a book hold. So I got, uh, after three months, I got a message to pick up a book. And now I don't want that. Can Once the book is ready and it's on the sh shelf for us to pick up, can we cancel then? You can, yes, absolutely. You can still cancel up until the day it expires. So once a hold arrives at the library, uh, we hold it for you for seven days. Yeah. You get the email, it'll tell you your hold will expire on you know, May 5th, let's say. Um, you have up until May 5th to cancel it without any penalty at all. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, that was the last questions we had. Okay, great. Um, well, if, if any other questions come up that people have um, as they're exploring the website, um, please feel free to contact us uh, in the um, through the uh, contact us link. Okay. So, uh, if there is no other question. Yeah, there's nothing in the chat section. Okay, that was perfect, Marlene. Thank you very much. Oh, it's my pleasure and thank you for having me. Yeah, that was a great presentation. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna send out the presentation slides uh, with those who registered for the, for the event. Perfect, yeah, the, the slides, uh, I didn't cover all the slides. I only did like the first couple of slides, but there are other slides in there um, that show all the things that I just showed you today uh, live on the website. Um, and also my last slide has my contact information on it, my email address and phone number. So if you have a question you wanna ask me, feel free to send me an email or give me a call. Great. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening, everyone. Yep, you too. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye.